Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and today we're going to be talking about the RCMA No Color Powder and this is a very very famous setting powder and Jacqueline Hill used this, Jeffree Star, Tati loved this as well. So I know a lot of beauty gurus use this powder. Right now I have eye makeup and foundation but I didn't set the foundation yet. I'm going to use this uh, RCMA No Color Powder today and I'm just going to let you guys know my thoughts about it. So I've had this for a year already and I still have this much left. I haven't even reached half of the bottle yet. So it says here, the perfect universal setting powder for all skin types. No color powder contains absolutely no pigment, no perfume, no fillers, and it will never alter your foundation shade or natural skin tone. It will set your makeup with a flawless finish that won't cause a flashback. So that means this is good for photography. This is how the packaging looks like. As you can see, it's very simple and plain. It actually looks like a salt and pepper shaker and of course it has a sifter inside so actually it has two ingredients only which is talc and silica we're gonna try it first on a black shirt we're gonna try to apply um, a bit of this just to check if it's really no color powder so this is a black shirt and let's see if it won't stain the shirt we're gonna see if we blend this out if the powder will disappear Oh yeah, so definitely it's starting to disappear. So that means it's really a no color powder, but I actually applied way too much. If you're just going to apply um, the right amount, it really will disappear from the shirt. Oh yeah, so as you can see, as I'm blending it, the powder just slowly fades and now it's almost completely gone. And just tap some of that so we can get some product. Ooh, I think that's too much. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this um, damp sponge. And normally people use this to bake anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do. So you need to apply a generous amount of this on your under eye and the places where you usually get oily. So in my case, my under eye, my nose bridge, forehead a little bit of my forehead um, here on the side of my nose and I'm actually going to apply this all over my face as well I'm um, just going to bake the parts where I usually highlight and the places where I usually get oily so um, don't expect a brightening effect um, with this powder because it's, it's like it says, it's a no color powder, so there's no brightening effect or anything like that. It's just going to, it's just really going to set your foundation and your concealer. Okay, actually don't bake that long, so now I'm just going to dust this off. And as I'm dusting this off, I can tell right away that there's really no um, color. It didn't alter the color of my foundation or my concealer. As you can see, it doesn't look cakey at all, even if I applied way too much. And that is why a lot of people like this, is that it sets your foundation and your makeup without making it look cakey. It just looks really natural. And um, yeah, so it just looks mattified as compared to this side. It's a perfect powder for touching up your makeup when you're outside. I'm just using a fluffy powder brush to um, set the rest of my makeup. Again, this is the side without the RC Manual Color Powder and this is the side with the RC Manual Color Powder. You can tell the difference right away that this side looks oily and this side looks slightly highlighted but um, it's because I really applied a lighter concealer under my eyes so that is actually the real color but now it's just mattified and you can see the real color of my foundation my concealer Okay, 
Okay, so I just finished setting the rest of my face with the RC Mano color powder and as you can see, it looks absolutely flawless. I think that this is one of the best um, setting powders that I've ever tried just because it doesn't change the color of my foundation and my concealer. I finished the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to take a photo of myself with flash. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yes. Yeah. I'm back now. I'm just gonna take a photo with flash and see if um, there's flashback. Okay, actually I'm gonna turn off my makeup light just because it's way too bright and I'm going to... Uh, okay. Whoa, that was way too bright. Actually, that is the fault of my flash. So, I'm now going to, I think it's my brightness. Okay, again. And it actually looks really really good there's no flashback or whatsoever and I've had um, photos of myself when I was younger and in photos I look like a ghost because there's just really bad flashback from my foundation or from my powder I'm not sure but the RCA Mano color powder really looks super flawless in photos no wonder a lot of uh, famous makeup artists and professional makeup artists use this setting powder. So I absolutely love the RC Mano color powder and I've been using this since um, I got it and uh, I just use this either this or the Ben Nye banana luxury powder and I was actually planning to do a comparison between this um, the RC May and the um, Ben Nye, but I thought that it's actually a different setting powder they they're both different because this one has color and this is colorless so I can't compare the two and this one I think is amazing as well but I'm going to do a separate um, review for the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. If you guys want that, leave a comment down below. I think that the RCA Mano Color Powder is just a must-have, especially if you are a um, makeup artist, if you are um, dealing with different skin tones from dark to lightest color, this will work because like I said, it won't change the color of your foundation, your concealer, and the rest of your makeup. And it really mattifies your face without looking cakey. It's not heavy on the skin. And I don't know why, after you apply it on your face, it just blends into your skin and melts into your skin very naturally. And that's why it's perfect for photo shoots. Just look really, really flawless in photos, like as if you have naturally beautiful skin. Sometimes I just want a simple packaging like this. And if you just want a hassle-free setting powder that won't change the color of your foundation, this is definitely the product for you. I just really, really need this in my makeup routine. And I think that this is one of my holy grail um, setting powders. So that's it for my review of the RCMA No Color Powder. Thank you, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave this video a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys again next time.